What are your thoughts? I think they're all awesome. <laughs> These are for the Mustang book. There's a lot of them. We're trying to pick a cover, but I'm not sure which one. I, I love that one. I wish that could be the cover. So here's the thing. Uh, uh, good morning, by the way, or good day, or whatever time you end up watching this particular episode of Fireball Malibu Vlog. This is episode 700 and whatever episode it is. Uh, this is an important episode, and I'm, I wanted to start this out because I need your guys' help. I need, I need your help in, in achieving a goal of a successful coloring book, which is coming. This, this Ford Mustang book I'm doing, uh, technically it's a Mustang book, I can't say Ford, I can't use the Ford logo or anything like that, but um, uh, these are full-on custom Mustangs, and, and I'm pretty stoked, I got about 16 sketches, I got four more to do, uh, I know what those are going to be, but what I need help from, from you guys, is I need your help in deciding which cup, what, what should be the cup? So I narrowed it down. Actually, Kathy and I narrowed it down as to as the, the three that make sense most for the cover, and uh, uh, it's it's a combination of, of being able to adjust, adjust and shift images so that we can have a title and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I want to be able to before we start today's vlog, I want to be able to show these to you guys, and then and then you guys tell me which one you think should be the cover. Can we do that? I mean, that, can we do that? Right. Ignore the the writing part because that's going to be gone. Just the image of the car. Uh, which one you think is best? Here's the first one. This is a 1971 Boss 351. That's pretty, pretty wicked. So that's number one as a potential cover. This would be taken, put down here. All this would be gone. So this image is down here. And then the top part will have a title and all that kind of stuff. So there's number one. Number two is a 64. That's pretty sick looking. I think that's, that can kind of be a cool cover. Once again, this would be dropped down here and then the the title and all that stuff will be up there. And number three, this is more of a static shot, but I think it's pretty cool. Kathy liked it a lot. Uh, this is a 69, I'm looking at that backwards. 69 Mach 1. Pretty sweet, kind of hanging out at Vasquez Rocks. That could be kind of a neat cover. All right, so that's number three. You guys decide, leave a comment in the comments section below. Tell me which one you think would be a, a rockin' cover, and then we'll kind of decide based on, you know, your guys' help. Wait until you see the other ones. Oh my God, it's so cool. It's gonna be the coolest Ford Mustang. Just Mustang, just Mustang, no Ford. It's gonna be the coolest Mustang book, coloring book ever in the history of, of Mustang coloring books, which I think there is none. I, I don't think there's a, I have to look online, but I, I don't think there's a Mustang book. Maybe there is, I don't know. Okay, let's get into today's vlog because we do some fun stuff. Let's go. Uh. appeared magically here at the pad. This time, it is the Volvo V90 Super Wagon, right there. <laughs> Station wagon, baby. Wagon. It has that, um, I don't know what you call it, it might be the same in every car, it might be different, but it's it's the lane departure warning system to where if you start to drift, it pulls you back in the lane. 
kind of fun to play with. And it actually works. Uh, I'm kind of digging it on this uh, this particular Volvo. I actually think this is the uh, best Volvo I've had so far. Really cool, it has this cream interior. Uh, is really nice. Not necessarily conducive to having dogs. Taking the dogs to the beach and then put them in this car. Oh, I would recommend that if you have dogs and they uh, have a tendency to get dirty, this may not be the car for you. But if you have clean dogs and maybe uh, Swedish dogs, is there such a thing? Then this might be the ultimate car for you. Although it could stand to be a little faster. today in this Volvo? Well, I'm glad you asked. Like last week, I'm going over to pick up my friend Paul Crisanti, who told him I had this Volvo, and he said, hey, we should go do that. Today, we're gonna go check out a few homes, show you guys, kinda see what's up. Most vlogs, the unexpected happens. Came up to uh, to see Paul, and we were gonna take the Volvo. We have to go do uh, a, a normal person thing first. It's uh, such a normal pedestrian thing. It it really needs doing. Yeah, you seem extremely far away. Why is that? Because this is a 1997 Dodge 4x4 pickup. It's massive that is, has tons of room in it yeah. and lots of old technology. We, we could fit three or four people in the front here. Should we stop and pick some people no, up? No, no. But before we look at some incredible houses, some fantastic houses, we, we have to go do something first, don't we? Yes, uh, I have a tenant who moved into a house, a condo, mm -hmm. and the, uh, the It's the uh, apropos car to go check out some cool houses. We're gonna go see a cool house that's in Big Rock okay. on Roca Chica Drive. Roca Chica, sounds like a great ice cream flavor. It would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Maybe they'll service someone when we get there. But is there anything to indicate what kind of house this is? This is a mid-century gem with stunning, unobstructed views from Point Doom to the Queen's Necklace. There's wow. tropical landscaping, a private pool, and an inside waterfall oh, wow. oasis. Sounds good. Sounds good. On the market, three million nine ninety-five. Not bad. We should go see it. Okay. It's got 
an insane view. But right here, this is very steep right there. Very steep. Kathy, you're not gonna wanna see this. Uh, this is Sandra. We are at house number one today. Uh, this is quite spectacular. It, it's amazing. Uh, I didn't realize how many houses are up in Big Rock. There's a lot. There are a lot. Yeah. But this is very unique here. Mm -hmm. um, we're down a private. We're sited on a private driveway. Uh, amazing head-on ocean views from Palos Verdes all the way to Point Doom. And you got a really cool uh, architecture here. It's from 1965. Wow. Uh, amazing bones. Beautiful rock waterfall. This yeah. is the centerpiece of the house. Incredible. Incredible. This was built when I was born, man. Really? Yeah. 1965. Yeah. It fits. I'm not. I'm not really sure, but it's actually quite extraordinary because it's not really laid out in any normal fashion. No, it's uh, outdoor light everywhere. There it is. You get great light because of the centerpiece behind me and then all the bedrooms are facing the ocean yeah, views. Sure. It's kind of set up like a, a big circle. Great, great. Well, we're going to look around. Uh, we're swimming in there. Hey, how are you? I'll film you. Go ahead. <laughs> There is a pool somewhere, right? Yeah, I'll show you the pool. Okay. Maybe there's some good hearts hanging on and on. Maybe there's some new stars going on and on. Maybe some never grow up. Maybe some. Tell me how much the house was again. $3,995,000. Why did this they do that? Read. Why don't they just score? It's a score. Because people who are searching don't search to four. They don't? Or they don't search to four one. So they search to three and then they get um, three nine. No, if they search to three, they get uh, from whatever's below that, two three. Ah. Um, look at the sunroof. It's got a massive sunroof in this Volvo. Wow. Uh, I'm in love with this car. I'm not going to give it back. It's just the way it goes. I'm keeping it. Where are we going next? Uh, I'm going to stop for a moment so I can read this and, uh, and tell you. The next one is Las Flores Mesa. Yes, it's 20990 Las Flores Mesa. And it's got great views of the city. because there's a cop behind you right back there I see him right back he's really tiny though so I don't think he's paying attention and we're in a Volvo and who you know who hammers at home on a Volvo anyway where there's no no excuse on this car with the heads up display showing me a speed limit sign mm -hmm. and then my actual speed and the alarm goes off if you go beyond the speed limit well and that's what that was the alarm went off because you went above 45 you went to 47 47 yeah, because I'm at 46 right now. It's not going off. Yeah, my throat was in my stomach. To goose it just a little and make the alarm go off. 